Hey y'all, this is BG Codes and I am Brad Garropy. In the previous video, I covered a few different ways that you could read a document out of a collection from Firestore. In this video, I'll teach you how to update a document in our users collection that we set up previously. Now, I do have some starter code here. It's hosted on GitHub and the link will be in the description below. So let's get going. Here's our current application. We have our create user and our three read user buttons. And so let's add one to update a user. We'll pop over to our code. We'll create a button, which I can't spell. And we'll say update user. And this button should have an on click method. And it'll be an anonymous arrow function in this case, and we will call update user. Now we haven't created this yet. So we'll go into our users file here and create that method. So we'll create an arrow function here called update user. And this is actually going to be asynchronous and take in two arguments. Now, when you're updating any document, you're going to want to reference it by ID because you don't know what fields you're changing. Um, so if you, if you were trying to update a user by name, it would be a little weird to find a user by name and then change that name. So my recommendation is that when you're updating documents, you always reference it by ID. And then the second thing we'll pass in will be an object and we'll just call it updates. This is just the set of data that you want to merge on top of an existing object. And that's an important distinction. Um, update user will take the, the object properties that you provide and update them on the existing, uh, document in the collection. It does not replace the document wholesale. I believe they had something, they have a method called dot set for that. If you want to actually replace uh, a current document with a new document that you provide. This is updating just like it says. Okay. So let's go ahead and start with usual. We will await our call to Firestore on the users collection. And in this case, we're going to reference a specific document with the ID that we provided. And then we're going to call the update method on it. And in there you pass in an object of properties that will get merged in. And so we can just directly pass in updates. Now it's important to note that this update function returns void. So it doesn't actually return the updated document, which I would prefer, but it doesn't. So we could do a few things. Um, one, you could handle this locally in your application saying, you know, I know the updates I wanted to apply to this user. So I could just do that locally. However, if you want to be sure, you can retrieve that document again from Firestore and return it from this method. So let's do that. Uh, we will await the call to Firestore, the user's collection with the document ID that we asked for, and then grab that data. So now we can actually access the data and we'll assemble our return user object here where we use the ID from the document as well as the data from the document. And let's just log it out to the console and return it. Again, these lines here are unnecessary if you want to handle that data merging locally so that you don't have to make another call out to Firestore. That's totally up to you. All right, so let's go ahead and export update user. Go over to our application and let's see, how do we want to do this? We'll use the ID of the user that has my name, Brad Garropy, and then we're going to pass in some properties that we want to update on this user. Now, a couple things are important to note. One, so if I type in the name and I say Bradley Garropy instead of Brad Garropy, that will get updated. But because this Firestore is a NoSQL database, this means that we don't have to stick to a specific schema. We could put whatever we want here and update it on this user. So 
uh let's say i could just say age and i have to think about that for a second i think i'm i think i'm 33 and so if we put a property that doesn't exist on this document yet uh, this will still work so let's give it a shot go over to our application now you can see we have update user here and let's click the oh and i'll show you uh fire store right now this is the current user. It only has a name, Brad Garropy. So if we click update user, look at that. It returned, and now the name is Brad Lee Garropy, age is 33. We can see that reflected in Firestore as well. So that's how you can update a document in a Firestore collection. In the next video, I'll show you a few ways to delete some documents if you so choose. I'll see you there.